Hey everyone, welcome to my first documentary. Today I'll be talking about the crash of Darda Slavy 157. Let's begin. On May 15, 2014, at about noon, a Dallas area rapid transit Green Line train was sitting at its northern terminus, which was, and still is, the North Carrollton Frankfurt Station. The, the train consisted of three 50 series cars, 157 leading and 117 trailing. The train was en route to its southern terminus, which was, and also still is, the Buckner Station. Meanwhile, a truck hauling a flatbed trailer was on its way towards a grade crossing at LBJ Freeway, well, where it and the train would meet. Just a few minutes later, 157 departed North Carrollton, bound for Buckner. After making its routine stop at Farmer's Branch, the train departed bound for the next stop. Sadly, it would never make it there. As 157 started barreling toward the crossing at 65 miles an hour, the truck got closer as well. Then, the gates went down, however the truck seemingly ignored it and continued through. The operator of 157 blew its Nathan P2 and slammed on the emergency stop button in the cab but it was too little and too late. One fifty-seven T-bones the trailer at 40 miles an hour, causing it to jackknife, hit, and knock over a pole, traffic light, and railroad crossing. The trailer wrapped around the bridge support. support. It fared pretty bad, but the train fared even worse. The sheer impact causing 157's lead truck to derail. 157 had dents, scratches, frame and body damage, broken windows, and a lot more. 117 had only broken windows, which was most likely the result of debris hitting it, them or the violent force of the impact. The train was taken to N.W. Roth, or New Roth, Yard, which stands for Northwest Rail Operating Facility. 157 was inspected then, and 117 was uncoupled and repaired. 157 also had its roll signs taken out, as can be seen here. Their whereabouts are unknown. For all we know, they could be in the trash, because they look like this. Then, 157 was taken apart and put on multiple trailers and taken to another state for an overhaul. I, I do not know who rebuilt it, but I know it wasn't dark. When it came back, it was delivered to Croft, or C. Roth Yard, which stands for Central Rail Operating Facility. 157 had some more maintenance schedules. But actually, its first appearance since the accident was actually not this video. It was actually this video from Dart themselves. Here it is. 157 also recently got LEDs, as pictured here. It is almost done being fixed and should be back in service maybe sometime in 2023. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a new type of video, but maybe I'll do more if y'all like it. Anyways, you can like and subscribe and leave a comment on this video if you want. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.